Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my November book haul. So I was technically still on a book buying ban in November um, and I thought I was gonna go away to America and buy so many books and I didn't, I bought two. So my total book haul of 10 books kind of feels acceptable. So I'm just gonna run you through these. There are several different categories of books. And yeah, I've really not gone crazy this month. So it actually feels very reserved. As I said, there's 10 books, but I actually do have a pre-order here that I've already got on my unhaul list, and that is Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. I pre-ordered this because it was the book club pick for Rachel's book club, Books of Me, and sadly, I didn't love it. I only gave it three and a half stars, so it's on my book haul, and it will also be on my next unhaul video. This is about four friends, Mike, Pia, Vicky, and Zaza, and Pia dies and it's all about how the group come to terms with her death and things they do to kind of keep the keep Pia in their memories. It is sweet, it should have been emotionally moving, um, but it just wasn't for me, so yeah. Next, I had a gift from a publisher, and that is You Can Go Your Own Way by Eric Smith. I'm actually gonna be reading this very, very soon. I probably would have read it by the time this video goes live, but this is an arc from Harper, so thank you again to Harper for this one. But this is about Adam and Whitney, uh, former best friends who've, nearly, who've barely spoken in four years, not since Adam's dad died and Whitney's dad rocketed to success with his chain of gaming cafes. But when a mishap at the Stillwater family's failing pinball arcade turns into an all-out Twitter warfare, these two are pulled back into each other's lives. And this is kind of giving me Starry Eyes vibes, even by Jen Bennett, which is one of my favourite books of all time. That is kind of a wilderness survival story, so it's nothing alike, but it has got the sort of friends to lovers and like family hating each other element. So it's making me think of that, and yeah, I cannot wait to pick this one up this month. Next, I have a book that I actually picked up in Aldi, I think it was, or Lidl. I'm gonna go with Aldi, and that is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. This is a children's classic, and it's this gorgeous little penguin edition. I absolutely love this edition of it. And I have actually never read Treasure Island, but I've always wanted to. And I, you know what? I don't think I know enough about it to even tell you about it. I don't. I, I genuinely know nothing about this book. Our little quote on the back says, the Hispaniola lay still where she had anchored, but sure enough, there was the Jolly Roger, the black flag of piracy flying from her peak. And I can't wait to eventually pick this one up. I'm not in an immediate rush, but I saw it going cheap. It was about four pound. Um, so I grabbed this little cute book. Next, I have some books that I actually bought from Steph over at Steph Loves. So she was doing an unhaul and I decided to grab a couple of books, two of which were already on my wish list. So I thought I may as well. The one that wasn't is Last Ones Left Alive by Sarah Davis Goff. It says, bleakly beautiful, a raw emotional depth charge of a novel. And I believe this is a zombie story. It says, raised by her mother and Maeve on Slamberg, an island off the west coast of Ireland, Orpen has a childhood of love and stories by the fireside. But the stories grow darker and the training begins. Ireland has been devoured by a ravening menace known as the Shrake. And though Slamberg is safe for now, the women must always be ready to run or to fight. When Maeve is bitten, Orpen is faced with a dilemma. Kill Maeve before her transformation is complete or try to get help. So Orpen sets off with Maeve in a wheelbarrow and her dog at her side in the hope of finding other survivors and a cure. And it doesn't look too big. I haven't heard anything about this book, but it really intrigued me. So I'm gonna give it a go. One of the ones that was on my wish list is Wildfire by Carrie Mack. Again, not heard much about this one. I don't even remember why it was on my wish list. Um, but I'll just read what's on the back. I believe this is a YA contemporary. It says, I stand right in front of the tent in case Pete tries to look out. He cannot see what I'm seeing. The flames are taller now, wicking along the tops of trees just across the valley. The moon is red, the smoke is thick and drifting our way. This is a terrible place to be. We have to get out of here. And just scanning the blurb, we have our two characters, Annie and Pete, heading out on their next great quest, a 10 day backpacking trip through the mountains of Washington state. The woods spark with a promise of adventure, but a freak climbing accident interrupts their progress. And as, wildfire, and as wildfires close in and smoke envelops them, Annie and Pete wander further from the trail. This one is definitely giving me starry eyes vibes because we have a camping survival story and YA contemporary. 
I'm assuming there'll be some sort of romance element in this too. And the last one I got from Steph is By Your Side by Casey West. I was so happy to get this one because I had not long put it on my wish list. But this is about Autumn and Dax. And Dax is the bad boy. Um, Autumn, I think it's a bit of a goody two shoes. And they end up locked in the library for an entire weekend. Uh, Autumn doesn't know much about Dax except that he's trouble. Between the rumours about the fight he was in and that brief stint in juvie that followed it and his reputation as a loner, he's not exactly the ideal person to be stuck with. Still, she just keeps reminding herself that this is only a there is only a matter of time before Jeff, her almost boyfriend, realises he left it in the library and comes to rescue her. Only he doesn't come. No one does. I think this is going to be very, very cute and a quick read. So I'm excited to get to this. Then we have some books that I purchased for myself while I was away. As I said, I only bought two. One I got from a thrift store is The Downstairs Neighbour by Helen Cooper, which I actually got for 25 cents. So couldn't leave it. This is a adult thriller about um, from her downstairs apartment in suburban London, Emma has often heard the seemingly perfect family above her, Steph, Paul and teenage daughter Freya, but has never gotten to know them. Until one day she hears something that seizes her attention. Freya has vanished and the police are questioning Steph and Paul about their life. Do either of you have any enemies, anyone who might want to harm you? The effects of Freya's disappearance ripple outward, affecting everyone who lives in the building, including Emma and driving instructor Chris, who was the last person to see the teenager before she went missing. Each character's life is thrown into sharp focus as devastating mistakes and long-held secrets are picked apart and other crimes co come to light, including a child gone missing 25 years earlier and a shocking murder. These discoveries soon make clear that the past never stays where we leave it and that homes can be built on foundations of lives. And yeah, I genuinely picked this up because we went in two thrift stores and I hadn't bought books um, and this was 25 cents. And then one I spent way more than 25 cents on, I spent uh, 16.99 before taxes it hurt me is king of battle and blood by scarlet st Clair. so this is the author of a touch of darkness and a couple weeks back i attended um an author event where she was talking about this book and to be honest i knew nothing that she was talking about because i haven't read an arc um but i'm actually not going to look into it too much just reading the first paragraph on the back we have um, is old is that how we're saying her name uh, considers her wedding day to be her death day to end a year-long war and protect the people of her kingdom she is to marry the vampire king adrian and kill him i assume she doesn't kill him and that's where this is going but i am very excited to pick this up and last but not least we have two gifts from you lovely people this month the first one being the marriage game by sarah or sarah desai i'm not quite sure this was from nicola so thank you again so much nicola um you said you loved this book and it's been on my wish list a very long time so thank you for picking it out I won't go into it too much because I realise I've just been reading the blurbs of these books, but this is about Layla who returns to her family home in San Francisco, who she meets Sam, the CEO of a corporate downsizing company, who uh, needs to find a new office and he finds the perfect space above a cosy Indian restaurant that smells like home. But when communication goes awry, he's forced to share his space with the owner's beautiful yet infuriating daughter, Layla, her crazy family, and a parade of hopeful suitors, all of whom threaten to disrupt his carefully ordered life. It sounds like such a fun time. And um, yeah, such an easy, nice read. So I'm looking forward to this one, hopefully in the summer next year. It feels like a very summery book to me. And the final gift was from the lovely Rebecca. So thank you again, Rebecca, you are too nice to me. But she got me The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I didn't really have that much of an intention to pick this book up, but then I heard Vanessa from Wanderness talk about it, um, and I won't embarrass myself by struggling with the pronunciations of the blurb again, but we are following an 18-year-old ruler of a kingdom who takes a new bride each night only to have her executed at sunrise. So it's a terrible surprise when a 16 year old girl volunteers to marry him, but she does so with a clever plan to stay alive and exact revenge for the murder of her best friend and countless other girls. And it sounds so exciting. I cannot wait to read this. It's completely out of my comfort zone, um, but you know, let's broaden my horizons a bit. So there we are. Those are the 10 books I hauled this month, nine of which I'm 
keeping so one of them didn't even last a month um i guess that's a good thing i'm reading books and getting rid it's fine my camera battery is now flashing so i'm going to wrap this up here thank you so so much for watching this video please do let me know if you've read any of these books and absolutely love them i would be very excited to hear from you um but yeah on that note that is all i have time for today so thank you very much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one mm -hmm.